Hello everyone, this is the uh, Highlander of the Highlander Wrestling Show. I want to apologize to everybody who has been waiting for the next video, had some stuff come up and everything, so we're not going to go there. Hope everybody out there is staying safe. Um, I want to announce that uh, we have lost another great legend in pro wrestling. Yes, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. His name was originally, his real name was Richard Bailey, which we all remember him as the Mountain Man. He's been in the ring with guys like Sid Vicious. Oh, he's been, he's a big name in Gulf Coast Wrestling. He's been in WWF oh, a long time ago. He's new guys like Andre the Giant, Big John Stud. He's been in, in the, you know, been in the business for a long time. I remember. I remember him a long time ago and uh, saw him a, a couple times at SWA. Wanted to go down there and see him in uh, Gulf Coast at the uh, Diamond Wrestling. And uh, he was a, they had him battled as seven foot tall and weighed 485 pounds, I believe. It's somewhere in the round, almost 500. We'll just go ahead and put it like that. Uh, he's tag team with uh, Bruiser Brody and... All, you know, uh, one man gain and all them. But anyway, I just want to go ahead and announce that. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm here to uh, talk about some more wrestling magazines. I have found these in the collection in the closet. I meant to put them in my uh, box of uh, old wrestling magazines, but they're from the 70s. Uh, sports Review Wrestling and... Uh, Wrestling Championship all runs in the 70s. Uh, they, you know, it's a bunch of stuff like that. Um, I think the newest one's from like 1985, I believe it's. But anyway, uh, the first one, these magazines are actually pretty cool. This one is from February of 1978. It's Sports Review Wrestling. As on the front of it, as you can see, it's got the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Uh, there's Andre the Giant. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know these women's name, but they were like apartment wrestling type stuff for the men folk, you know. <laughs> uh, this one has got a lot of stuff from the 70s, as you can say, or tell. It's got a lot of, you know, stuff that was going on back in the 70s. It's got... You don't need a gun ads in there to get the accessories and stuff. And it's got to turn belly fat in the muscles and stuff like that. There's to believe. Make sure I got that right. It is, yeah, Ken Pantera. That's what I wanted to make sure I, was, I had that right because that's what it looked like. Ken Pantera. And uh, there's Abdul the Butcher. Some great wrestlers in this here magazine. Look there, there's Terry Funk in the when he was uh I don't know what title he was defend he was defending at this time, but he used to be the NWA World Champion. He's XPW Champion, ECW Champion. It was always kind of sad, and he never won a title that I can think of or remember in the WWF. Um, there's another good one of Andre the Giant. It's got in there. This is a great magazine for any collector, you know. Pretty, uh, oh yeah, and this is what they used to have on the back of some of them. I remember this all the way up to like the 90s and 80s. That I used to do. Uh, now the next one is... Supposed to be, it has 10 wrestling posters in there, which is sadly, they didn't have none of them in there when I got it. But this is something else, too, that was always fascinating, that this magazine, let me make sure I can't, I'm by blind, folks. Uh, let me get it out of here and get it out of that gloss. This magazine cost $3.95. It was another one of those wrestling. See, it's got the Road Warriors, Sergeant Slaughter. There's Jerry the King, Lawler, Magnum T.A., uh, Terry Taylor, or uh, let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, Terry Taylor, the Red Rooster, as some of y'all might remember him. 
There's Jimmy Superfly, Snooker, uh, George the Animal Steel. Some great ones. There's Huck Hogan, and I believe that is, yeah, Kevin Von Eric. Oh, uh, this one, like I said, it was sad it didn't have none of the posters of the wrestlers in it. There's a picture of Magnum TA with a title. I believe that is the. No, yeah, that's the North American title. Uh, there's one of Jerry the King Lawler in there. Picture of him with it when he used to have the goat teeth. And uh, I think that was a little bit after the deal between him and Andy Kaufman, which uh, that's going to be one of the videos I'm going to do up here shortly. And I'm going to dedicate that video to my uncle Wayne. Which I hope he sees this video. I'm going to have all the stuff I need for that one. So I'll make sure I don't mess up anything. And uh, now the next uh, magazine is, of course, the the 16th Annual Wrestling Victory Sports Series Wrestling Magazine. 1976 Annual 16 Magazine. It's got the... The living legend himself, Bruno San Martino, in my opinion, one of the uh, the greatest, one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all time, held it longer than anybody in the world. It ain't about how many times you win the title; it's how long you keep it. This magazine, I believe, at the time back in 1976, cost a dollar. I wish they cost that now. This one has got a lot of great stuff in it. Um, it's got a lot of stuff in here, like the advertisements of the wrestlers, of their strength and power and speed and endurance and all that. There's one page that's got of, uh, I believe that is Mark Lauren, I think is how you say his name, and Harley Race. Oh, uh, yes, Harley Race. Uh, one of uh, Bron Von Rasky. Vern Gagne, and you know, it's uh, Nick Bob Winkle, which was a great World Heavyweight Champion for the AWA, Terry Funk, as when he was NWA World Champion, it's got a bunch of, uh, let's see, uh, Ray Steven, I believe, let me see here if I saw, just saw that, oh uh, yeah, Dick Murdoch, oh, uh, Fritz Von Erich, which was one of the, the, the you know, the Von Erich boys, David, the Texas Tornado, Kerry Von Erich. Oh, his, you know, he, he was a good wrestler from the time. Oh, yeah, and it's got one up here of Pedro Morales and Greg the Hammer Valentine showing you their strength and weaknesses and speed and all that. Oh, uh, very good. These are some very good uh, memorabilia stuff you can get. I, I so strongly suggest people buying this kind of stuff if they like to collect anything of rest, especially wrestling magazine. Uh, this one is from, I want to say it was maybe, nine, yeah, here it is right here, 1978. Championship album, wrestling. And on the front of it, it's got uh, Bob Backlund and uh, Superstar Billy Graham, which in my opinion... Bob Backlund should have never beat superstar Billy Graham. I mean, he just, Bob Backlund was, in my opinion, not world championship material. Especially for the WWF because, I mean, you know. But anyway, oh, uh, now a lot of people out there will remember Bobby the Brain Heenan. His first official member of what he called, he had a thing a lot of people out there remember as the Heenan family. The first person to be actually considered the first member of the Heenan family was none other than the World Heavyweight Champion of the AWA, Nick Bob Winkle. Uh, as you can see, how young Bobby Heenan and there's Nick Bob Winkle with, with the AWA world title. Nick Bob Winkle was a very good pro wrestler. He was kind of like, you know, the nature, uh, kind of like Ric Flair, which in my opinion, he was better than Ric Flair. Uh, you know, uh, Buddy Rogers and all of them, you know, he was just a good pro wrestler. 
And uh, it's got it's this one here has got a lot. Of, there's Dwayne the Rock Johnson's daddy, Rocky Johnson. Look how young he is right there. And uh, let's see, there's a black and white poster of uh, Bob Backlund, which, like I said, he should have never beat Superstar Billy Graham. And uh, this guy, like I said, this here has got a lot. A lot of these old magazines are always fun to look at because you get to see stuff that you normally don't see. In a lot of magazines, especially nowadays, even in the 80, uh, even in the 90s, I didn't see a lot of this kind of stuff. Well, a lot of it I did, but it was more, you know. Anyway, uh, this next one is in uh, uh, the same uh, wrestling magazine, same you know company. This one was from July of 1977, and this one has got, of course, you know. This here has got a lot of like dusty roads and oh, can't remember what these women's name was. Let's see. They don't even say their names, but anyway, oh, uh, the Mall Massacre. I think that's how you say it. The Mall, my, uh, Mel. Anyway, he was a mass wrestler, big in Japan, uh, Mexico, and all that. This one. It's, it's got that other stuff on there about how to make yourself look like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno. Oh, uh, this one has got a lot of good stuff in it. This is when uh, Terry Funk and Dusty Rhodes were having their feud. Very cool. Look how young uh, Dusty Rhodes and Terry Funk look. Way before a Roadhouse. And, uh,. There's another good wrestler of the month, Bruno San Martino, which was, you know, I can always understand that because he was doing things that other wrestlers didn't do back in, even back in the 50s and 60s. He was lifting like 500 pounds, not even bodybuilders were, even bodybuilders were impressed by him. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mike Tyson, that was Mike Tyson's favorite, Mike Tyson. Excuse me, I'll get it right. I'll get it spelled, set out real quick. Oh, uh, this one, let's see here. I think I saw. Yeah, this one here has got a lot of. Well, I can't really show a lot of this in here because it's got a kind of inappropriate for. Cause I might have some young viewers out there that parents may not appreciate seeing. Of course, you know, it ain't nothing nudity or nothing, but I mean, as you can tell, I mean, at this period of time. But anyway, I'm not here for censorship or nothing like that. I just I want to try to appeal to everybody. Now this next one is from Wrestling All Star Magazine, 1984 June. This one here has got uh, Billy Jack Haynes, and a lot of people may recognize her. And if you do, that is because that is Nancy. Who was originally married to Kevin Sullivan and then became Chris Benoit's wife. This is a very, you know, this is, let me, she's young right there. Oh, this one has got a lot of, oh yeah. This here has got some fashionable jackets in it. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that right there is the prime example of the 80s. I remember some of the stuff of the 80s. And everybody remembers this right here, the Hulk Hogan Fan Club, which I was a Huckamaniac in 1986, watching Hulk Hogan rock and wrestling. Uh, this thing right here has got a lot of stuff on there. Oh yeah, here's some good colored pictures. Now this right here is of Kevin Sullivan. Boy, you can tell that's from the 80s. You can tell, or you can tell, this is the '80s. Look at all them spikes and so That was that's what used to be draw me when I was looking. I used to love that. And there's some more. There's uh, the fabulous ones, and there's the yellow dog, which I don't remember too much about the yellow dog. Uh, I think this one was uh, Tiger's brother or son or something. And there's the awesome King Kong Bundy. 
played on the uh, the Married with Children show. He was he made an appearance on there, and he was in a movie with Richard Pryor, the mover, which was pretty interesting to see. There's some good uh, Puerto Rican wrestlers. There's uh, Pedro Morales, the former Intercontinental Champion and World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, yeah. There's uh, uh, Kamala when he was wearing his original face paint. Before he became what we know of today as, as the, the most trend, uh, trending of uh, face paint. Now, this one right here, a lot of people who saw me appear at SWA and Battle Zone Championship Wrestling and everything has seen me tote this here title around it because I got a replica of this title. That's the first one. That's who Hogan beat for that world, the exact same world title for his first title run in WWF. Bob Backlund was the one that was presented that title belt, as you can see him wearing the exact same one. Uh, this, like I said, this magazine, these magazines have got a lot of good stuff in them. I love seeing this. I, I can't believe I forgot about them. I mean, I was tickled to death when I found them. The next one is from, well, this, here's another one from the 80s. Okay, so I did have two of them from the 80s. Uh, June of 1987. This one here is a very good one. This is a year, I've been watching wrestling for about a year now. It's got... The champion, Nick Bob Winkle. And oh, yeah. Uh, Ultimo Gallows, you're going to love this one. Look at this fella right here. <laughs> the Boogie Woogie Man himself, Jimmy Valiant. <laughs> Look at his beard. That was always funny to me. I, I love Jimmy Valiant. Uh, this, this one here has got a lot of good... Uh, this right here, and I didn't know this right here ever took place, or I don't remember it. Ric Flair versus Dick Murdoch, which I used to watch Dick Murdoch, and I remember this guy here, S.T. Southern. Southern. He was the original Shawn Michaels. He, he, he like he should have been a part of the Fabulous Freebirds. There's um, Austin... Uh, Austin Idol, I'm making sure I'm saying his last name right. Austin Idol. That's a good picture. Uh, this is here, like I said, these magazines bring back a lot of memory. There's a woman's champion, uh, Misty Blue, which was, she used to tag team with uh, Heidi Lee Morgan, which I'm friends with on Facebook. She was always cool. Very good wrestler herself. And uh, that magazine, let's see, you don't have a price on there with that magazine. Yeah, here it is, two fifty. Which was, I remember my granddad raising cane when the magazine went up to four or five dollars. This next one is from November of nineteen seventy nine. Now this one right here has got a very interesting cover of it. Now that right there should have been on, on a wanted poster. There's Captain Lou Albano. The original Mario. Now this one has got now that there's got a good advertisement on the back of what kind of stuff you would have seen back then, which was always cool. I wonder how many people has actually bought this stuff, thinking it would actually work, and it's cheap stuff. I guarantee it's got to be cheap made, considering even back then what they what they uh the prices that was on it. It was just a uh, money. Make money and everything, which you know, it was nothing wrong with that. I mean, it was fun. Melissa here has got some good uh, old fashioned pictures of wrestlers on it. You don't see wrestlers like that no more. Oh, let's see here. Let me find something in here that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, here's a prime example. That guy there has been busted up uh, deep wide. <laughs> Continuously, excuse me, folks. Uh, oh, yeah, here's a good one right here. Here's a good wrestler, Mr. Fuji. He was very devious in the ring. Rule breaker. Yeah, you don't want to show that on here. Some more of those female wrestlers. Here's a picture. I wonder how, I wonder what he's doing in this here magazine. David Carradine. 
That's got to be during the Kung Fu Legend series when he was doing the Kung Fu thing. Which I like that show. I remember seeing Kung Fu The Legend Continues. Oh, but anyway, yeah, this stuff like this is just cool to see. I mean, you, I can't help but I, I, that's the thing I love about the world of pro wrestling. You know, you have people out there that likes football, baseball, basketball, you know, everything. But to me, pro wrestling has always been a big fascination with me. Among others, you know, out there that watch my show probably feel the same way how I'm passionate for pro wrestling. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. Uh, always make sure you keep Ultimo Gallows. Keep a watch out because he's always got new videos and everything. Uh, always look out for SWA. I think they're coming to somewhere down on the coast, I believe, somewhere. Uh, Battle Zone is going to be in uh, Pancola, I think is how you say it. Pinola, I think. Yeah, Pinola. Or it might, might be SWA. But anyway, they're going to they're gonna have some pro wrestling around. Uh, Oh, yeah, and uh, I want to shout out to my Uncle Wayne. Uh, my next video I'm going to be doing here shortly. In the next couple of days, I'm going to get all the stuff I need to make sure I'm getting everything right, remembering and everything. Uh, it's going to be about, well, I put it like this. I'm going to go ahead and say this. One of my videos are going to be about the, the life and times, you know, when... The few they had of Jerry the King Lawler and Andy Kaufman. And uh, I got to make sure I'm getting all my information right so I won't forget nothing and won't, you know, forget certain things and everything. So I just got to get all that stuff put get together and everything. But I will be doing a video about that. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Yes, that's about all I can think of right at this very moment. But I want to appreciate everybody out there. Uh, if you want a Highlander Wrestling Show t-shirt, uh, leave me a message and comment on my videos. And I will get back in touch with y'all. Uh, yeah, we, even, we even make coffee mugs of Highlander Wrestling Show. Um, so anyway, anybody out there have any questions? comments, uh, suggestions, anything, by all means, leave me a message. I mean, I love hearing from people who love watching my videos and everything. No matter your age or anything, you want to ask me something, you know, feel free. And uh, I want to appreciate everybody out there that's been watching my videos. I love all my fans. Uh, if you see me at the wrestling show and you want to say hi to me, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to bite nobody. I mean, I love interacting with people. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this video short and y'all watch out for my next videos and I hope y'all enjoy this one. Talk to y'all later.